Oh, yes, sir. Hi. Hi, how are you doing today, Marlon? Uh, not so good. Uh, I can tell you, uh, are y'all located in Texas or are you all located uh, in Minnesota? Sir, my company is located in Minnesota. Yeah. Minnesota. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, what I have a problem is, is Quest, Quest Care Medical Services have been sending y'all uh, fraudulent bills. And by you all being in Minnesota, they have covered their tracks pretty good because you all are not in the same state. And basically, uh, for these emergency room visits, I haven't been I haven't been in Texas for three years. And they generated this bill for July 7th. And they know I'm a veteran and they know I'm a veteran and these bills were supposed to picked up. Also, furthermore, I never been to the Plano Clinic or Quest Care Medical Services at all in my life. So they're not supposed to be making any bills at all anyway. If anybody should be making the bills, it should be the Dallas, Texas main uh, VA hospital and not Radius Global Solutions. And also, uh, these people know that I'm a veteran and that these are, uh, 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 first of all, I never had no, uh, no date, no emergency room visits at no Quest Care Medical Services in Plano, Texas. I haven't been to Texas in three years. And so make sure that they tell these people to cease and desist because it's harassment. And I already taken care of this with the guys at Radius earlier this year. And they have documents. If you look in your files, you should have documents that are facts. And make sure you tell these folks that own this company to quit harassing me because I'm tired of it. And they know I'm a veteran. These bills go straight to the veteran services. And Quest Care Medical is supposed to be a medical uh, service provider for the veterans, which they are. But they have low ratings. They have low Google ratings. And this uh, uh, document is fraudulent. I'm a veteran. And all of my documents have been faxed to you all. And so please cease and desist. And stop selling, sending mail and stop sending my information to collection agency because I had spent thousands of dollars straightening up my credit and here they go again. And so if them white folks tell you to do it, don't do it because it's going to start a fight. And see, white folks like to tell other people to do shit that they'll get fucked up for. And so I could see you from another country. Don't listen to these white folks that be trying to mess over African-Americans. Because that shit is over in America and they need to quit it. All of the documents have already been, been submitted and tell them don't send me no more motherfucking bills. And this is not nothing to you, sir, because I know you don't normally uh, know the exact extent of what they send these bills. But I'm telling you, uh, you need to tell Quest Medical Services that I, I cited them on fraud and I reported them to the Consumer Protection and they ain't never motherfucking answered, but then they still send me a bill I ain't never been to. I ain't, I ain't never been to Plano, Texas emergency room at Quest Care Medical Service, but they got me going for two motherfucking visits at uh, July 7th, and I'm in Louisiana. We still on lockdown. We still on phase two lockdown. We, we couldn't even leave the motherfucking state, and I don't even have a car, so I couldn't have got there in no 10 hours around July the 7th. And, or when it was turned in July 7th. And then they need to be more specific. And they need to handle their business better. And they need, and they talking about reduced payment of $1,000. Now tell them they need to call the motherfucking business 16. Or they need to call uh, the veterans uh, uh, patient advocate at the uh, Dallas uh, office at Urgent Care. And talk, tell them they need to call Dallas at Urgent Care and get this shit taken care of. Because... Sending bills to me and they not doing their job 
is a disservice to me. I got an honorable discharge. And please tell these people, get their shit together. And African Americans is not going to be taken advantage by white folks from Texas or nowhere else. Please quit it. Tell them to please quit it. And don't listen to them if they tell you to do it because they're going to get somebody hurt. And you have a nice day. They're going to they gonna get somebody motherfucking hurt, dude. They're going to get somebody motherfucking hurt. Dude, I'm showing you this motherfucking shit. And I'm, I'm showing you this motherfucking shit. And look, they won't leave you alone. They won't motherfucking leave you alone. They stealing from every motherfucking body. Then come around acting like y'all friendly. Dude, if you if you call this motherfucking double. If you go to this day psychiatrist is Jewish. If you call Quest Care Medical Service is ran by motherfucking Jews, dude. They try to buy up every motherfucking thing. And then they try to blacklist you. Then they try to fuck you up. Then they try to fuck you up and then blame everybody else. Nigga, you see this motherfucking shit? I will crack the fuck out of you. Dude. Dude, I'll crack the fuck out of you. And check these fake bills, bitch. It's your motherfucking ass, bitch. It's your motherfucking... You see this motherfucking shit? You see this motherfucking shit? You see this motherfucking shit sending me the motherfucking... They know I'm a veteran. They should send these motherfucking veterans. And they stand up there and they watch this motherfucking shit. And they watch this motherfucking shit. Instead of them saying no or do it, they motherfucking help them do it. Our women are whores. Oh, bitch ass motherfucker. Yeah, nigga, I ain't even been in no... We still on motherfucking lockdown. We still on lockdown on phase one at Louisiana. We ain't been no motherfucking way. How the fuck I'm gonna get plain on Texas is left? Look, I'm gonna crack the fuck out of it. What they need to do is give me my motherfucking pistol so I can go upside your motherfucking head myself without having to call nobody. I go upside your motherfucking head. I'll crack the fuck out of you. Right in front of the crowd. You ain't gonna be disrespecting my life everywhere I motherfucking go. They trying to own shit. They try to fuck up every day. They gonna come back around motherfuckers like, like they friend. Bitch, you ain't friendly. You ain't. That's a motherfucker. They gonna get y'all fucked up, dude. They gonna, they gonna get y'all fucked up. Nigga, we still on motherfucking lockdown. We still on motherfucking lockdown. Louisiana is still on like one of the longest. We still on phase two. How the fuck I get way the motherfucking plane on Texas 10 hours away? I ain't even got a call. And see, they stealing from every motherfucking body. They come around and acting like they did. Bitch, I don't play that motherfucking shit. Look, look at it. I'm always catching y'all doing shit you ain't supposed to. They don't never have no motherfucking answers for me. Eviction. He says while federal aid and state orders putting a freeze on evictions did help, 
Much of that aid is now expiring. Since Census Bureau survey, 30% of renters said they have little or no confidence they can pay next month's rent. When most Americans have less than $1,000 in savings and they lose their jobs and for work, their ability to pay their bills um, goes away pretty quick. But property freeze on evictions cost them dearly. If somebody won't be able to pay $900 right now, Dude, this is this this motherfucking deal. Lisa and her daughter are now Dude, trying to raise money to find a new home. And they know they're not alone. <laughs> Advocates say Congress could have heard an eviction crisis by passing more aid for renters in the next stimulus bill. Michael George, CBS News. Good afternoon, watching tropical downpour move through the area today, and it's going to continue for much of today. You see there, it's not widespread, and not everyone's seeing them at the same time, but we do have rounds of those downpours moving through associated with him. And you see there's some heavier downpours moving through South Mississippi to move forward. And here at the Metro, we had a downpour in June. We had that live shot earlier, and there's a little breezy out there as well as these strong uh, tropical oh, downpours uh, kind of drift off towards the north and towards the west. So we'll have to watch these pretty closely. They're very efficient rainmakers, a lot of moisture. If they sit over the same areas, you can get some localized free flooding. Haven't really had that problem yet because they've been moving. So that's some good news. There's your heavier showers moving through South Mississippi. And then some showers right along the coast down towards Gallery and Newville cutoffs. What's quick to Sean and both towards Grand Isle as well. Now, it's not impossible. You might see one or two tornadoes, especially kind of on the lower Terrebonne Parish. The tornado threat is very low, by the way. Anytime you get a tropical system like this, you do have a low, low possibility. It's a highlighting kind of the coastal areas for maybe a tornado or two. So, we're not expecting much, but I think some of them will be keeping a close eye on here in the afternoon. Here's the latest on camera moving west northwest at 9 miles per hour. Still not moving that fast, but it is becoming better organized. Winds up to 45 miles per hour. Slowly organizing is what it's looking like at the moment. Now, the track still takes it into the Corpus Christi area, kind of uh, south of Corpus Christi in between Brownsville. We go into Saturday afternoon with a strong soft storm uh, making landfall over there. So far away from us, and regardless how strong this thing gets, our impacts are not going to change. Now, it is organizing quite a bit, and it looks very nice on radar. Notice you've got all the classic features coming together, and it's not impossible this tries to make a run at maybe a weak hurricane as it approaches landfall. Now, it's not a guarantee that happens. The chance that it happens is fairly low, but it is one of the possibilities. And as I mentioned, regardless, the impacts really aren't going to change for us. And there's not going to change for them really either. Heavy rainfall is the main story. So we are going to say wet. We'll be wet today. We'll be wet tomorrow. We'll be wet Sunday. We'll be pretty wet Monday. So a pretty extended period of wet conditions, meaning localized flash flooding could become an issue as we go through the weekend and into next week because the ground is so saturated. Elsewhere in the tropics, we have to talk about Gonzalo. Gonzalo is still a weak, or I won't say weak, it's a tiny storm that has been dealing with that dry, dry air that tore it apart yesterday, and it's still struggling quite a bit. Notice not very organized, and the winds are at 50 miles per hour, so it has weakened, and the new forecast really don't think it's going to become a hurricane anymore. It's been too weak, it's got too much dry air in it. These tiny systems like this are very, very fragile, and you can see there, it's going to make its way towards the Windward Islands in Barbados. Yeah. And it's going to make its way into the Caribbean, and it'll start to weaken. So it does look like with the weak system in the Caribbean, it's not going to be able to survive. Now, the tiny storm, they can sometimes surprise you, so we'll keep a close eye on it. But at the moment, not too terribly concerned, though, to be honest. Out in the deeper tropics, we're watching a huge tropical wave. I mean, this thing is coming out of Africa. You can see it here, this large area of showers and thunderstorms. The National Hurricane Center now highlighting it for a low chance of development over the next five days. So we'll be tracking this one as we go into next week. And a lot of models are starting to pick up on this, that it could be our first any bigger system of the season. Of course, this is a long ways out there. We'll be keeping a close eye on it. But for now, watching Hannah, the tropical moisture, uh, no really immediate threats to our area with the tropics. We'll just be dealing with the heavy rainfall as we go throughout today, tomorrow, Sunday, and into Monday. Could be heavy time, not necessarily associated with Hannah directly, but a lot of that moisture is still in our area. And then we might start to see a little bit of a dry 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 next week. We're here free wherever, whenever on the WWL TV app. Download the free WWL TV app today. Hello, everyone. I'm John Butcher. Join me from July 27th to August 2nd as we celebrate the seven days of Sacramento. Have live stream performances, talks with Satchmo scholars, and more. Hail the SatchmoSummerfest.org for details.
My car wreck happened fast. It wasn't my fault. I broke my leg. I called Morris Bart. He got me $123,000. If you get hurt in a car wreck in New Orleans, do what your family and friends have done for many years. Call me now. Humera targets and blocks a source of inflammation that contributes to joint pain and irreversible damage. Humera can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humera if you have an infection. Humera is proven to help stop further joint damage. What more proof? Ask your rheumatologist about Humera Citrate Free. If you can't afford your medicine, Abby may be able to help. Yes. 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 I'm writing yes because it will save the hospital. We need this hospital now more than ever. The last two years in a row, we've been ranked the number one hospital in Louisiana. East Jefferson General Hospital joining LCMC Health is in everyone's best interest. They'll need more resources, equipment, staff. They not only save my life, but they also save the quality of my life. We've got to save the hospital. It's a no-brainer. It's a vital part of the community. And a major employer here on the East Bank. It's a really great hospital. Vote yes for a healthy future. A lot of internet providers say they're great, but only Cox Internet is number one for streaming video, according to Nielsen data. Families can stream their favorite shows, chat over video, and watch live cast. From your man cave to your she den. They don't do a motherfucking thing. They do these bitches. Oh, dogging you, you're bitch. Covered. The bitch don't show them. I'm gonna crack the fuck out of you. You show them more respect, bitch. I'm gonna crack the fuck out of you. You show them more respect. Oh, they damn near me, bitch ass nigga. I'ma crack the fuck out both of y'all. Right, 